Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady. I'm out in the beautiful Pebble Creek today, again, to bring you the pros and cons of living in Pebble Creek. As you know, being an active adult, there's a lot of options in Arizona, a lot of golf course communities. And with this luxury active adult community, there could be some pros and cons that you definitely want to hear. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady at EXP Realty. Count on me for all things Arizona real estate. So if you're new to my channel, again, I'm Kelly Norton. I'm known as the AZ Realty Lady. I'm a Valley native from right here in the Valley, the Phoenix area. And I'm a real estate agent of over 20 years. And I like to help people that look to relocate to or within Phoenix and the surrounding areas. So if you like the content I'm bringing you today, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell and leave your comments. Good, bad, the ugly, it's okay. If you know me yet from my videos, I do the same for you. I give you the uh, information you need to know, whether it's something that may be positive or negative because this is your purchase and I wanna make sure that you have all of the information. So today's video, is the pros and cons. So let's talk about a couple of the pros. So one of the major pros is going to be location, location, location. Now, obviously in real estate, where the home is is very, very important. But when you're retiring and you're looking to kind of settle down, a lot of folks want something that's not super far out, but in their community, they still have that sense of community and feels like it's maybe not right in the middle of the city. Well, this location definitely gives you all of the conveniences that you could be looking for, but very close into hospitals, to major grocery stores, and to even movie theaters and other entertainment districts. Uh, you also have multiple golf courses outside the community. Uh, of course, you have the two within that we will talk about as one of the major pros. Uh, but you have, gosh, I want to say 50 golf courses that you could drive to and not too far of a distance. So this location is about 25 miles from the Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. So it's going to take you 30 to 45 minutes, just depends on the day, the time that you're trying to head that way. Um, downtown Phoenix, again, similar drive and the freeways here, you're just minutes to the freeway, minutes to Fry's and Safeway and Walgreens. You also have an Abrazo, which is a medical center. There's also the Cancer Treatment Center of America that's located just a couple miles away from this location as well. So everything you could really need very, very close by, and that is very appealing for some folks. So one of the cons that we'll drive right into is for some people, because it is closer in, that can make it a little bit more expensive. So let's talk about one of the cons, and that could be it's not in everyone's price point. So again, one of the cons could be the price point. Now, depending on your budget, this might be out of your price point. So the size of homes that are available in here can be as little as 1,100 square foot for a resale, all the way up to 3,500 square foot. New construction is 1,600 square feet, all the way up to 3,600 square feet. Now, pricing on these homes can be anywhere from as low as 375 all the way up well into the 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 million. So it's just going to depend on what you're looking for. So again, another pro is that if you are looking for a community that is very, very social, this community has so much going on at any time. You'll find in my videos that I'm actually trying to be in, in little pockets and areas where there's not a lot of people around. Very hard to do so. Um, so I want to show you without showing anyone's faces close up. Behind us here, uh, we do have a little bit of a clinic going on for putting and uh, just to perfect your putt in your golf game. So uh, this is great. They really get the community together. There's something that you can pick throughout the day, throughout the year, throughout the week for you to do. So if you're looking for that super social community, this is definitely a great option. They also have a 332 seat theater. So they have shows that go on there 
and it's a performing arts theater. So again, that's a way that you can uh, interact with folks. So if you're feeling a little social, you can definitely go to the over 47,000 square foot Tuscany Falls Clubhouse. There's also a 19,000 square foot sports club that you can be a part of here in Pebble Creek. There's just a ton going on, indoor sports. They have an indoor lap pool, uh, over 20 pickleball courts currently, but they are adding 16 more. And I will dive more into that when we're talking about another pro, which is all of the amenities. Another pro is if you're looking for a community where you can drive your golf cart around, this is an opportunity for you. <laughs> so this community is definitely golf cart friendly. Uh, that's the major mode of transportation that you'll find out here in Pebble Creek. So if that's something that you're looking forward to, you definitely can do that here. Okay, so another pro, let's talk about taxes. So a lot of folks coming to the area um, are pleasantly surprised by our taxes and Pebble Creek is no different. So your taxes out here on average are under 1% that you can find for new build and um, resale. Now our taxes are paid twice a year, of course. Um, now if you're paying cash, then you'll wanna make sure that you keep track of that. If you're getting a loan, then of course it will be built into your mortgage and will be paid on your behalf twice a year. This home that you see here is actually the least expensive home that's sold in the last 60 days here in Pebble Creek. And 1641 square feet built in 1994. Purchase price on this home was 365,000 and the property taxes were $2,248 in 2022. Now keep in mind, taxes are based on the assessed value, not purchase price. This home here is a little bit newer, so it's built in 2016. It was 1916 square feet, sold for 615,000. And this home, the taxes in 2022 were $2,971. Again, the taxes are based on the assessed value and they are assessed twice a year. This is one of the more expensive homes that has sold in the last 60 days. This one was 1,100,000. And this was 3,041 square feet and only four years old, built in 2019. This home did have a pool. And just to give you an idea of taxes, for the 2022 year, the taxes were $4,307. And I know for most people that are moving here from out of state, uh, that is music to your ears. One major pro is of course the pickleball. So of all the communities here in the Valley for active adult, this has the most pickleball courts. They also have sports courts, tennis courts, um, but guys, pickleball, they currently have 20 and they are working on 16 more courts. So if you are a pickleball fanatic like I am, 36 courts, it's awesome. Let's pop in a little con here. So I did mention that this area is a little bit closer in and because it's a little closer in, there are some highways nearby. There is more traffic. So there's a little more traffic in this area than if you were gonna be further out um, and tucked into maybe the North Buckeye area of Sun City Festival. So just something to be aware of. You have all the conveniences right nearby but that unfortunately does mean that there is a little bit more traffic once you leave the community. Now remember, you're in a guard-gated community, so you do have that luxury, you're inside here, and it, it's not too crazy in your community, but when you get out and you're heading to the grocery stores and going to the mall and to the Costco, um, getting on the highway, going to the airport, it is gonna be a little more congested in this area. Another one of the major pros in the community is that your HOA dollars are actually going to something. You can see there's so much green around and there's always seems to be a groundskeeper or a landscaper out here maintaining. So definitely a pro. A lot of times people just think that their HOA dues go to waste. 
So one of the cons in the area might be the jet noise for you. Personally, I like the noise, but if you're not used to it, it's something to certainly be aware of. You may hear a little bit of it behind me in the mic, um, but Luke Air Force Base is very nearby, so you definitely hear the jets when they're taking off and when they are getting ready uh, to land as well. It's a little bit noisier than you would have in some of the communities that are a little further out where they just do the flyovers. Here it can be a little bit louder just because they are taking off and descending. So another major pro to Pebble Creek is certainly going to be its close proximity to spring training. There's a lot of spring training in the valley and here in the West Valley there's a lot of different teams that are out here but you do have the uh, Cleveland team and the Cincinnati team that do play out here in Goodyear. So that's really close by and it's not too crowded. So uh, you can definitely catch a game out there and uh, be pretty close to home and not be in some of the other um, stadiums where it's kind of crowded and a little bit busier. So you can also pick these tickets up. I think the, the cheapest one is somewhere around eight or $10, uh, going up to 35 or $40. So affordable way to have a little fun right near home. Another major pro, guys, there's an Amazon distribution center really close by. So what this means is you can get same day delivery. Now, if you come from an area where you get same day delivery, this is nothing new for you. But a lot of people are coming from areas where they don't get same day delivery because they don't have the luxury of having that distribution center. So this is definitely a, uh, a luxury that we've gotten used to here in the Valley because we can get our Amazon packages same day delivery. And if you move here to Pebble Creek, it can be the same for you. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video today. Pros and cons of living in Pebble Creek. It is such a beautiful community, but of course I wanna make sure that you have all of the information. If there's questions that you have about the community or you're interested in this community or any other in the Valley, please call me or text me. It's the best way to reach me. And uh, check out some of my other videos that we have linked here for you. And again, I hope to hear from you soon. Take care, till next time.